Today we're at Stillwell Store and RV Park, also gas station, and Hallie's Hall of Fame in Alpine, Texas. And we're about eight or so miles from the entrance to Big Bend National Park. This is site 27 and it's a full hookup pull through. You can see that it's actually a buddy site. So our kind of front area faces our neighbor's front area, which is a little awkward, but um, I'll come around here. It's all gravel. Um, we did put a leveling block under one of our tires, but it wasn't super unlevel. We've got our sewer here. We've got electric and water, and the electric box is, um, we've got both 50 and 30. Nope, just kidding, we've got 30 and 30 in here. And come around the front, um, there's no really like lines or where to park. We just kind of parked in front of here, so we weren't hopefully get hit by any rings coming along the outer edge here going in or out. it's not a big deal we're just here for two nights and then walking to the back we've got the um, garbage in the can area right behind us and there's this little picnic area with a grill right here there's a few of these throughout the park there are no fires here for obvious reasons it's super windy too and we are in the middle of nowhere so this is uh, one side of the park where there's a lot of RVs and there's hookups. Across the street there, there's no hookups. It's kind of just like a big parking area um, for people with a lot less money to basically you're boondocking. There's a tent area. And walking through the RV park here. So walking towards the front of the park in the store, there's actually Hallie's Hall of Fame, which is a museum for Hallie Stillwell. And just beyond that, there's a store and gas station. So this is the gas station and actually gas is not that expensive here. It's 310 a gallon, which is only a couple cents more than it was in the town that was like 40 miles away. Also, this is the only gas station within about 25 miles. There's a couple within the park, but um, this is like the only one here at the entrance of the park. This is the store on the porch. They kind of have your like everyday essentials, food items, beer, drinks, um, you know, toiletries, things like that. There's also ice available. And the porch here is where Wi-Fi works pretty well. There's no cell service here, but the Wi-Fi is actually a pretty decent speed here on the porch. And we get a little bit of Wi-Fi enough to like check email in our rig. This is the women's restroom. And we got the toilet and there's the sink and right now the showers are closed right now due to COVID. And this is another shower room. So same thing, the bathroom is open but the showers are not due to COVID. So this one's a little bit larger. It has two stalls. There's a sink here and the showers that would be working, but you know, obviously things are closed right now due to COVID. And this is the laundry room. There is a laundry sink, washer and dryers. Looks like the washers are $1.25, the dryers a dollar. And there's also a microwave in here. here where there's like spots two three four um, again full hookup sites over here and then more of those like areas with the grill and the picnic table at the end there and the area across the street is referred to as the strip that's where the tent camp or there's spots for RVs, but there's no hookups and this RV park is like in the middle of nowhere um, it's actually about eight miles from the entrance of Big Bend National Park but there is no cell service and um, we have to rely on just the Wi-Fi from the park, which is good enough for what we need for the weekend.
Hallie's Hall of Fame is a museum, a tribute, and an honor to Hallie Stillwell. Hallie Stillwell was known as the Queen of Big Bend. Even before she moved to the ranch, she was tough. She actually taught school in Mexico and had brushes with Pancho Villa's army. She moved to the ranch when she married Roy Stillwell, her husband that was about 20 years older than she was. They lived the true West Texas rancher life and she didn't hold back. Unfortunately, her husband passed away in an accident and she had to get creative on how to save the ranch. She wrote for the paper. She was a justice of the peace. And in 1969, she opened an RV park and store on the Stillwell Ranch. Hallie is a local icon, a local legend. So if you find yourself in West Texas near Big Bend, take a little detour to Stillwell store and museum where you can learn about this amazing woman's life and her contributions to the area. The museum is free, though of course a donation is suggested. And if you want to learn more about Hallie Stillwell, you can read her autobiography, I'll Gather My Geese. I actually picked up a copy while we were here, and I'm glad I did because it was a super interesting read.